Have you seen the moon? Do you see the same moon every night? How will you describe the moon? Why does the shape of the moon appear to change? How shall we describe the Earth's moon? The moon is the Earth's nearest neighbor in space. The moon has a solid surface. The moon has no light of its own. It reflects to the Earth the light it receives from the sun. The moon turns around the Earth, but we see only one side of the moon. Why is this so? Place a globe on a table. Face the globe. Turn counterclockwise around the table with your face towards the globe. Note the direction towards which your right shoulder points as you turn around until you reach the place where you started. Then stop. Did your face turn away from the globe at any time as you moved around it? Did you also turn around yourself? As the moon travels around the earth, it also makes one complete rotation. The same side of the moon faces the earth all the time. The moon seems to rise and set because of the rotation of the earth. The moon revolves around the earth. At the same time, it rotates on its axis. The moon rotates once on its axis as it makes one revolution around the earth. It takes the moon about 27 and one third days to rotate on its axis. It also revolves around the earth once in about 27 and one third days. This is the reason why you always see the same side of the moon. The word month is related to the word moon. Place a globe on a table. Darken the room. Ask a classmate to focus a flashlight on the globe. Hold a ball such that it is behind and in line with the globe. Make a quarter turn around the table as you hold the ball. Observe which part of the ball is lighted. Make another quarter turn around the table. Observe which part of the ball is lighted. Repeat the activity until you are back to where you started. The moon seems to change its shape as it revolves around the earth. The shape of the moon that we see depends on its position in relation to the position of the sun and the earth. The apparent changes in the shape of the moon that we see are called the phases of the moon. The phases that the moon goes through are caused by two things. One, the moon revolving around the earth. And two, the moon reflecting sunlight towards the earth. Half of the moon is always lit, not just the portion we see. However, sometimes we only see a profile of the lit portion of the moon. 
The moon's motion and the sunlight reflected from its surface are responsible for the phase changes we see. Click on the phases of the moon to learn more. When the moon is between the sun and the earth, we cannot see it because the sun shines on the side of the moon away from the earth. This phase is called the new moon. After two days, we see a small edge of the moon lighted. This is called the crescent moon. After about a week, half of the lighted side of the moon is facing the earth. This phase is called the first quarter. After a few days, we see more than half of the lighted part of the moon. This is called the gibbous moon. After one week, the whole side of the moon facing the earth becomes lighted. This happens when the earth is between the sun and the moon. This phase is called the full moon. After a day, the lighted part becomes less, and we again see a gibbous moon. After about a week, we see only half of the moon's face. This phase is called the last quarter. Then, after a day or two, the lighted part becomes smaller, producing a crescent moon. After one week, we do not see the moon at all. This means that the moon will go through the different phases again. Then, after a day or two, the lighted part becomes smaller, producing a crescent moon. After one week, we do not see the moon at all. This means that the moon will go through the different phases again. How well did you learn today's lesson? Try answering the following exercises to find out. Excellent! That's all for now. I'll be seeing you again.